Welcome back, ladies and dingle hoopers. Uh, you are watching NGS Outdoors. All right, so we are here today out on a lake, pretty local lake, I'd say. We drew, drew about four and a half hours up here, and uh, we're actually gonna be we're actually gonna be uh, testing out these uh, new frostbite jigs. As you can see here, custom painted and whatnot. We're gonna go after them and see if we can't get a few bites on there. We're gonna try to get on a few fish, and we have a special, special segment of cooking with Carter. Stay tuned, you're watching NGS Outdoors. All right, so my rod of choice will be this, a, a Pro Classic 26 inch light rod and I'm gonna be hooking up, rigging up this uh, like a nine millimeter pink and blue tungsten jig head here. All right, so what I did have to add on was this gold and like peach color. Ah. Swedish pimple, there it is. It's a Swedish pimple. And I'm gonna go ahead and bite that off my line real quick. Got that, now I'm gonna go ahead and tie this like I will use it. Hey. I could be using lighter terminal tackle, lighter line. Um, but uh Alrighty, so I'm just gonna rig it up with this little uh it's like this little plastic here. It's kinda pink though, so it's gonna work well with it. It just looks like this little here as you can see. Sorry my uh, Parkinson's is kicking in here. Yeah. And it's uh just this minnow head it's supposed to act like. Give you a better look at it here. Let me get one out of the package here. Can't resist it. It's almost as good as my cooking. <laughs> cooking with Carter. <laughs> we are going to eating some secret family recipe beans. And uh Let's just get into it. Crack the seal here. We got our beans open. Looks like there's a little, a little bit of rust from the old blade in there. Uh, we got a. Uh... All right. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I can't! I can't! What is that? What the fuck is that? Is it? <laughs> Dude, don't. It's pork. You dumbass. All part of the plan. Mm. <coughs> it's burnt at the bottom. Uh, we have some beans. They were kind of burnt and expired. So I made myself a little uni pot out of snare. I'm going to go ahead and chop them up. And tip here when you're out here on the ice and you've walked you've traveled the whole lake by foot and you haven't marked a fish that's a good sign and you should probably pack up and leave I mean a lot of anglers don't realize it but four hours I think it's time that's, that's a little a little crossing the line there we'll see you on pond number two Here's spot number two. We're gonna try it, see if there's some bigger fish in here. Stay tuned for that Cooking with Carter episode. 
You guys will be in for a real treat. Shit, I got one chasing. Yep. Yeah, that's a better one. Ooh, shoot, dude. This has gotta be a big crappie or something. Oh shit, dude, he's in the deucer. He's in the deucer. Oh, 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 dude, it's walleye, it's walleye. He's in my deucer. Oh, boys. Look at that dorsal action and everything. It's a little guy. We're gonna go ahead and get this guy unhooked and let her go. Mm -hmm. Hey, put it on me. I'm marking one. I'm marking one. Just a little guy, I think. This could be easy. Ooh, not a bad one. A little blue girl there. Time for tip of the day. Tip of the day is um, when you're out here on the ice and you don't have ice picks and you think that the ice is safe enough, the second you hear a crack, you need to sprawl out. Just like in like, like a, like a, ah, st ah, it's like a, ah, uh, like a snow angel position, but reverse, so like face down. And this allow it to you to level all your weight and you don't want to get up right away because you can just plummet right through. Going next weekend. I was thinking Winnipeg. Gets it. Seen? Sean! He's going nuts down there. I can't get him up the hole. The 10 inch ain't big enough. Hold him up. How'd you catch him? What? Shit. That might be a dinner table. My we'll go golly. right there, folks. Grab your thongs, cause you're about to be cooking with Carter. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking with Carter. You guys have probably seen me dump grease in this pan more that times than you have seen the Northern Lights. Right now. We are cooking some fish vegetas. And what we are going to do, we have them just sealed up here, so we brought them out here on the ice. Not that we're not catching fish, we're just gonna cook them on here. And we're going to take our forced portion of this walleye. We're just gonna cut it into, where's my katana? And I'm going to do that. I could use a cutting board, which I am. But even if I had one, I'd still use it. Get, pop that here. Nice, tender, slim chunks to go into your fajitas. And our grease is hot and ready. So we're gonna go ahead, dip these in our milk. <laughs> All right, got them in here. It's gonna go directly into our batcher. Yet again, Louisiana fish fry. Right into the batcher. Ooh. Oh, it's nice one. Rocket it up. Little baby boy. Alright, we gotta get a picture with these two. Welcome back to Cooking with Carter. We are almost done with our fish vegetas, and I'm gonna tell you how to prepare one, and then you, the rest are on your own. So, right now I'm just gonna toss that there just to get a little bit warm. Our first vegeta here, nice and warm, and it's now flexible, uncold. And now we're just gonna. Paste a little bit of that sauce, just like so. 
get our coleslaw. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on there. And then if I worked at McDonald's, I'd know how to fold it, but it's funny how I still do know how to fold it. Go ahead and, uh, she said if I still looked at. I got a challenge. Right now in the comments, name something that's better than this. I don't know how it gets better than this. Name something that gets better than this. I'm on the grill. I don't know, I'm, but I'm gonna go ahead and devour the rest of this. Thank you for watching Cooking with Clara. I hope you guys made a delicious, but he was just like I get out here on the ice and in my fat. And we'll see you later. We stopped at this, uh, this little town, uh, this is, uh, Chamberlain, Chamberlain. Uh, this is a hometown shop go here at Chamberlain. If you guys are ever in the area, we're gonna go ahead and uh, one of our signature glasses that we wear on the show, we're gonna hide here. Right now, I'm going to place it in one of these light poles. Right here, here's a block of snow. See this block of snow? All right, so now we're just gonna put these, put the glasses right there. Uh, jam it in there. All right, so if you find that pair of glasses, on your Instagram story, take a picture of these while you're here and tag NGS Outdoors Instagram account and you guys can win a prize. So stay tuned, you're watching NGS Outdoors.